Wait, what? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm having a tough time hearing you. My dog's barking really loudly and my head really hurts. How in the world do you make them stop? Up next on Yeti's Place. For tips and tricks on owning a Sammy ad, be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification. So your dog barks a lot. Believe me, I understand. Being a Sammy ad owner, I feel you. I can hear you. But wait, I can't really hear you. The main rule of thumb in owning a talkative breed is that you have to develop an air of patience. It's not going to happen overnight. You have to learn what your dog is saying. For example, do they have to go outside? Do they want to play fetch? Do they want to treat? Do they need more food or water? Do they need a walk? Is it their nap time or their bedtime? Did they bring you a brand new fresh toy to play with? Mom, play with me, play with me, play with me. Come on, mom, play with me. Mom, you're not playing with me. What the heck? Mom, mom, mom. And they bark a lot. So you have to, to, to figure out why they're barking. That can take time. Finding out what they want when they're barking is the key to winning this battle. Unwanted barking is oftentimes the main reason people give up on their dogs. They need exercise. Your dog isn't going to be a sleepy dog 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right now, Yeti is quiet because we're filming at nighttime after he's had plenty of playtime, plenty of time running around outside, plenty of playtime. Doggy exercise cures boredom, excitement, or frustration. I've had Yeti for plenty long enough for me to be able to figure out his cues, what he wants, when he wants, and when he's about to start barking. And I'm able to stop that barking before it starts. Dogs were bred to work with people, therefore they'll eventually understand what we're saying to them. And you'll eventually understand what your dog is talking about when your dog is barking so much at you. To break your dog's barking habit, Use a currency. For example, with Yeti. I know that if I get a treat out, Yeti sits down right away, he's quiet, he's under control. Or I'll tell Yeti, Yeti, let's go film YouTube. Instantly quiet, he'll race in here and he'll sit down to film YouTube. Most of the time, that currency is normally treats or playtime. I found that if you microwave bacon for a few minutes and then you break those bacon pieces into small, little bite-sized chunks for your dog, your dog will be putty in your hands. You could also try turkey strips or something else that your dog really enjoys. For me, it's these little treats. They're little, they're little bones. Yeah, do you see how he perked right up? He likes the treats. When you have something they really like, they'll stop barking and they'll pay attention to you. Like, hey Yeti, if you're quiet, I'll give you a treat. You think that'll get them to be quiet? Especially if you're holding that little piece of bacon or a little piece of turkey right there in front of you? With Yeti, it works. And it works really quickly. Now if your dog is really excited and barking at you, you'll want to get out the little treat. You'll want to have your dog sit because sitting and focusing on that treat causes them to be quiet right away. The moment that they're quiet, you're gonna give that treat to them. Reward and praise your dog right away. Your dog's method of communication is barking. So it's important that you pay attention to why your dog is barking and see if they just wanna play. If they're barking because they wanna play, well then you should play with them. But first, you're going to get them to stop barking. The last thing you wanna do is play with your dog when they're in the middle of barking. You wanna show them the treat, have them sit right away, and then the moment that they're quiet, the second they're quiet, give them the treat. Then you're going to start playing with them because that way your dog begins to associate, okay, I get play time, I get a treat if I'm quiet, therefore I need to be quiet. Okay, now I've got it, mom. Now it will take them a while to learn that, but you'll just keep working on it time after time, again and again. And then you'll also understand the reason why they're barking. Therefore, you can work on your communication with your dog and your dog can work on that communication back. You wanna have your dog look at you when you have that treat in your hand. The second they stop barking and the second they're focused on you, give them the treat right away to reward that behavior. Now there are times where your pup is just so excited that there's no way that that treat is going to work. And there's no way that that excitement of the moment is going to break. Go back to where they were before they got so excited. What triggered them to become so hyper and out of control. For example, if you're holding a toy right in front of you and your dog is going crazy, you need to set that toy down, have them be quiet, then you're going to pick up that toy again, 
Have them sit, have them be quiet, and then give them the toy. Then encourage the playtime. They're going crazy barking at you and asking you, Mom, 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 throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the toy. Oh boy, Mom, that's the toy. And you do that in the middle of their barking. Do you think that that dog is gonna realize that they, you don't want them to bark? No, they're gonna think that, oh, hey, if I bark a lot, then that barking is going to be rewarded by playtime. You don't wanna do that. You wanna break your dog of barking first. The second they stop barking, you'll give that toy to the dog. So you're going to go back to the moment they were before they started barking. If they bring you that ball, in their mouth and they drop the ball and they start barking, well, you're going to take that ball, you'll have them sit, be quiet, the second they stop. Give them that ball and toy, play with them. If you're on a walk with your dog and your dog is getting really excited for seeing a person across the street or seeing another child or another dog across the street and is just going crazy wanting to go play with that dog, have your dog calm down. The second they quiet down, immediately praise, give them the treat, and then have them go greet that other person or that other dog. And you're going to repeat that process again and again and again every single time you see another person or another dog across the street. Acknowledge any amount of effort that your dog is making. The best time to correct your dog's behavior is to correct it the moment before it starts. Now after you've had your dog for a little while, you'll begin to develop and understand the moments that your dog gets out of control. When you recognize that there's a moment coming up like that, you're going to jump into defensive action and get your dog to quiet down before it even begins. For example, I'll say two names here that'll get Yeti perked up. Quimby, Bigby. Okay, those are his buddies. Quimby and Bigby, they're Sammy Ed's, they're owned by family members. Whenever Quimby and Bigby come over, Yeti gets excited, his ears perk up, and he starts paying attention right away. Quimby, Bigby. That's the ideal time to interrupt that behavior. Before Yeti starts barking and going crazy, I'll reward him heavily, saying good boy. That's a good boy for not going crazy over Quimby and Bigby. That's a good boy. Good boy, sweetie. Praise, give him treats. The second your dog is under control, give your dog the treat, say good boy, good girl. Way to stop barking. Way to not bark. All right, we're making progress. Communication with your dog is always key because you want to develop that good, strong, deep sense of trust with your dog. It helps your dog understand that it's okay not to bark. That we understand what you're saying to me when you're not barking. With Yeti, I've learned what sets him off and how to get him under control. He gets excited for walks. And by excited, I mean he's spinning around. <laughs> in our family room area, barking like crazy, wanting to go on that walk. Oh boy, mom's gonna bring me on a walk. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm gonna spin around and just go crazy. But all of a sudden, he'll, he'll fall instantly silent and he'll kind of tilt his head at a strange angle and arch his back and then he'll stick his paw up in front of his face and he'll fall really quiet all of a sudden. And it's, it's just too much excitement for him. And all of a sudden, he just falls silent and he'll scratch his nose with his paw and he'll he'll kind of like look up at the the ceiling and he'll start walking backwards a few steps backwards and that's only when he gets really excited now I haven't been able to get the full episode on video camera or on my phone for the vet to see because the vet has stated that they want to see that event when it happens because they can't tell me what's going on with him unless they've seen the event. But the event is, is short-lived where it doesn't last long enough for me to really get my, my phone out and start recording him doing this behavior. I always get my phone out at the end of the behavior where he's just really, really quiet all of a sudden. It's important for me to get him under control before he even gets out of control so that doesn't happen. So I get a treat out right away and I have him sit and quiet down. I get his collar out and I get his leash out and I hook him up. Then I give him the treat, then we go outside and we play. But I don't reward him while he's acting crazy. I get him quiet first then I give him the treat and I hook him up on a leash. Yet he knows that he doesn't get the treat until he's quiet. When your dog is barking when you're not home, they're barking out of boredom. Give them plenty of exercise before you leave for the day so that they're tired and sleepy. If you don't have time to bring them on a walk before you go for the day, there is doggy daycare that you can bring your dog to. They would get tons of exercise at doggy daycare. Playing with other dogs, racing around, having a lot of fun, 
that's a great energy release for your dog and your dog won't be barking as much when you bring them home for the day. You could have someone come over and walk them during the daytime, like at lunchtime, if you don't wanna bring them to doggy daycare or else if you don't have a doggy daycare near you. You could ask a family member or a neighbor. You could have someone that you trust come over and walk your dog for you. You could put your dog in a part of your house where they're less likely to bark. For example, in their dog crate or in a gated off room. Leave your dog alone for just short periods of time. They understand that you'll be coming back soon, so there's no need for them to get upset. Of course, when you come home, then you will lavish a lot of attention on your dog. So the three best ways to correct dog barking. Number one, get their attention before they start barking. If they are barking, have them focused on you with a treat in your hand. The second they stop barking, give them that treat. Number two, reward them heavily during those brief moments of quiet. And number three, be sure to give a lot of time practice and energy to helping them stop barking. Be consistent with it. For more tips on how to control barking, be sure to check out this video and we'll bark at you next time.